I'm working on. This is going to be my a small trauma. This is the pipe I got from the next door neighbor, my old next door neighbor. But see what I'm using? That glass top table. Just reconfiguring it. This is actually one leg. This is the bottom. These are the bo the bottom side of it. Comes out and the table sat on under here. I squished them together and I'll either weld it or bolt it up. Probably do a little both so I can take it apart if I have to. I'll definitely uh, bolt this in. I'll make a clip for in here, down here. My wheels will hook. I need a wheel here and I need a wheel up here. I need four wheels on this end, four wheels on that end. And then this is going to be my water line feed into the trommel. So I got to have a way to support it on this end. And then I got to have a, a chute like under here. So the rocks coming out here will shoot down this way away from everything. So I got it all clamped up just going through my brain how I'm going to do it. This will be the loading end. And I think this pipe here. I might take it and pull this leg back or build a thing around here. Just stick it into a piece of, of uh, no, shit, piece of, make a piece of plywood or something so it just sits in there so it can rotate. So it can, you know, not, not rotate, but just sit there and not get knocked all around. And the dirt will load in this one. I got to make a chute. I should be able to take up to a 5 inch rock through here. That's what I'm planning on. Anything bigger than that, too big to mess with. But, uh, and I'll have water in my chute to wash the dirt. And the dirt will go down through here. All the stones. See, there's the, there's the table I had. Remember, I told you I busted the table. I was putting it to use. Now you can tell your mother, oh, I busted that thing on purpose just so he could use the legs. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be, I'll drill, I'll drill holes in here, probably three-eighths holes all around, like probably a foot wide or so for now. And then I'll stick this in, I'll have this so I can drop in here, and legs on this end, and I'll... I'm going to put something permanent across there so I can level this or lower it. And I'll put some uh, material around here, like hang it, so all the water will, and dirt will hit in here and run down the, run down the sluice. That's the, kind of the general plan. Because this should be about an inch per foot drop. So I'll make something up in there with some pieces of scrap metal so all everything that's in here getting washed will fall out these three eighths holes three eighths or half inch I'm not sure I'll make yet but I thought I could do a three eighths hole here if I wanted then I could do another set of holes back here that would be half inch to run down so I could do a double sluice if I wanted just a lot in my head, a brain fart. <laughs> okay. If I do it right, I'll be able to put a piece of metal across here, a piece of wood across there. So that gives you a nice little platform to set all your tools on. And let's see, I'll get it braced good. I'll have water running through here. All that wash water there will go into here. And on top of here. Then I'll probably have another, this pipe will come around here, and we'll get down here, underneath maybe. I'm going to put a T here, so if I need more water in here, I can put a valve and open it up. Because this will be right about in here, and put more water in it if I need it. Then I'll go back that way, and come down that post right there, and I'll put a, my inch and a half 
hose connection right there with another valve so I can hook a garden hose on that and to wash everything down. So this is uh, this ought to be good. Oh, and our, this pipe is three foot long to give you an idea, and I'll be should be around two foot high. Yeah, a little more, like 28 inches high, everything. So that's pretty good off the ground, 28 inches. Then you can sit on a two-foot stool and feed dirt into the hopper and not lift it over your head like you do with my high banker. This ought to be small enough, the way it looks, that uh, I'm thinking I could put some, uh, maybe bolt a two-by-four on here and put a set of, set of wheels front and back so you can put something on it and just pull it pull it away pull everything away and if I do it right the top table if I put the top table on and throw this sluice right up on top and bungee cord it down and maybe throw the pump on it so you can wheel it right down to the creek beside the creek river someplace I'm thinking wheels like on a like on a hand truck or something like that or on that red yellow wagon I got some kind of wheel like that so you can just wheel it right down through pump the whole nine yards right on top of everything over now that's it <coughs> for the freaking Corona Trommel. That's what I'm going to name it. Corona Float, number one. Corona Trommel, number two. Later.